Chinese state TV is reporting that dozens of Chinese fighter jets carrying live missiles have been conducting mock strikes around Taiwan. The latest military drills have been described as strong punishment for the separatist acts of Taiwan's independence forces. Taiwan's military has mobilized its forces in response. The maneuvers come just days after Taiwan's new president, Lai ching te took office and called on the mainland to stop making such threats. Let's bring in our Taipei correspondent, Tso Tsong Han. Is there a link between the drills and the new president taking office? Yes, Ben. Um, just as you mentioned there, China says that this is a strong punishment for the Taiwan independence separatist forces. And just three days ago, Taiwan's new president Lai Qingde talked about Taiwan with its official name as the Republic of China, ROC, as a sovereign and independent country and is not affiliated with the People's Republic of China, PRC. The words were interpreted by Beijing as Lai Qingde exposing Taiwan's independence attempt. So it doesn't just have link between these but the military drill is coming directly at Lai's new role and speech. How does this compare to previous military posturing from Beijing? Well, from the scope and content of the exercise that has been announced so far, it is the first military exercise based on various stage of armed invasion of Taiwan. And the exercise subjects may include blockade operations with foreign countries and outlying islands, and even offshore island assault operations. This is something that was not practiced in the previous military exercises. And if you look at the name of the exercise, it's called United Sword 2024 a, which may mean there are a series of exercises and we cannot rule out the possibility of a B and C in the future. So how high would you say the risk of further escalation is? Well, not immediately. So far, there is no sign of rocket force launching missiles, but it's currently difficult to predict whether the PLA will, as I said, do B and C military exercise afterwards, as I mentioned. So this is one... Uh, this time, this one is a kind of unexpected combat action to conduct a sudden engagement training for all personnel, cope with future emergencies. So we can now observe its impact on Taiwan's economy and how Taiwan's security team respond. And we can also observe the U.S. reaction and whether the U U.S. has been informed. And these are all key items for China to decide its follow-up actions. And any solution on the horizon? Well, um, from the Taiwanese part, I think there's um, kind of um, a reaction is to see like how China will conduct its drills. So in the future, if there's a real war coming up, the intelligence may know how to respond and the real force will know how to respond in the future. So there's not a real solution, but uh, we'll have to see how it goes in these two days. The very latest there from DW's Tso Tsung Han in Taipei. Thank you.